everyone, hope you're all doing well today. So today we're going to be doing an in-depth analysis on an off-meta pick with ranged top laners. Now, typically top lane is home to a host of champions such as Orn, Darius, Malphite, and Riven, i.e. tanks, bruisers, and fighters. However, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be taking a look at what happens to the game when you pick a ranged top laner and how it affects the overall outcome of the map and how it changes the aspect of the game similarly to how melee bot laners can change up the game versus your normal ADCs. So without any further ado, let's just jump right into it. So when it comes to playing ranged top laners and how this effectively affects the game, it's not necessarily something that happens to you in game, but rather that's something that directly happens to you. So for example, if you're playing Lissandra or Annie top lane, they, they put you in jail. And then Rise Cannon or Swain Top. Right to jail. And even Karma Top. Right to jail. And now jumping down to Marksman, if you play Lucian Top. Jail. And then Vayne or even Teemo Top. Jail. Also, let's not forget about Quinn Top. You right to jail. Kale Top. Believe it or not, jail. The Sona and Soraka Top meta. Also jail. Heimerdinger Top. Believe it or not, jail. Right away. And I swear to God, if I see one more AD press the attack, Nico top lane, I am going to lose my mind. But the beauty of all this is what keeps this under control? It's because of jail. 